Hi, so in this video we're going to take a look at monitoring Oracle with Agile Load. Agile Load is more than just a performance testing tool, of course, it's got a powerful monitoring capability because that's important when you're doing performance engineering. To do this you're going to need to have an Oracle server, of course, and the Oracle client installed on the machine where you want to do the monitoring from. I'm going to talk a bit more about that in the video later. The information you're going to need about the Oracle instance is the alias, the host, Oracle version, service name, login and password, and the port, which is usually 1521. The login must have uh, system privileges for uh, for this to work uh, correctly. So now we're going to just take a look at a, a standard kind of system. So you've got a database here. In this case, we're, we're going to call this Oracle App Server, Web Server, and so on. Um, and what we're going to do with um, Agile Load is normally generate some load using uh, users. In in this case, actually, all I'm going to show you is how to set up a monitor for Oracle and how to make sense of what the the monitor is telling you. So. The monitor in this case uh, isn't going to be in the normal place. The monitor would be uh, running from the Agile Load Center. In this case, what we're going to do is run the monitor from a different place in the network. So that will become obvious in the video where I uh, I show you how to set the the monitor up, and then we choose a different IP address to monitor from. So in fact, you can think of it as using uh, a a probe, a network, sorry, an Oracle monitoring probe to get the information back and that can be useful to bypass problems like firewalls between you and the target that you want to monitor or in in this case um, we are monitoring Oracle 8 and the uh, the client libraries don't work on Windows 7 so we needed to install our, our uh, collector our monitor on an XP machine that we then talk to to relay the information back from in my test center machine I'm going to go to all programs and launch agile load test center and go into the repository tab and then go up to the Oracle folder and create a new Oracle monitoring profile I'm going to call this my DB then double clicking on that will open up the parameters for the pro for the uh, monitoring profile where I need to put in my alias host port Oracle version service name and login and password and so on now in this case the host is going to be actually a, a local host y you might notice uh, but my Oracle database is not running here and this is because I'm going to use another machine to do the monitoring for me in fact I have agile load uh, installed on the Oracle server itself Now I could use an Oracle um, server without agile load installed and have agile load on another machine next to it the reason I'm using another machine is because I can't install the Oracle um, the Oracle libraries on a Windows 7 machine to monitor Oracle 8 so I'm going to use another uh, uh, another machine that will work with Oracle 8 I think it's uh, XP that we're using here so there's the error message saying that the Oracle libraries are not installed it's not a problem though I'm going to save this and close it and then create a job to do the monitoring so scrolling down and into the jobs folder I can right click and create a new job in this case I'm going to call it Aura and then I'm not going to add any scripts at this point. I'm going to drag and drop my Oracle database uh, pro monitoring profile and call, I'm going to call this CoreDB just to give it a name for the results that come back with. And the injector I'm going to use is in fact a remote machine. It's a, another machine where I have Agile Load installed. So I save that and then we start to run. We can now see the uh, in the monitoring tab importantly if we go into the Oracle um, uh, Oracle folder and look at the Oracle overview I've got an overview screen really of the summary and then going across to most commonly called SQL I can see the most commonly called SQL statements now there's not a lot happening on this Oracle machine right now in fact there's uh, there's somebody just doing some select and update statements I can go through the various tabs uh, such as uh, uh, input output and so on but all I'm going to do now is, is stop the job and I'm going to show you the results which in fact look very much similar to what I could see in the uh, monitoring tab and I'm going to generate an anomaly list so I'm going to use Oracle for my anomaly list and just click on OK and then we can see there are a number of anomalies relating to this Oracle database so um, there were some uh, some uh, monitoring graphs that we could have looked at and, and if you're not an Oracle expert this can really help you so in this case we can see there's an issue with a buffer cache hit ratio and we have a, a description down below of what, what you can do to improve that uh, we also have uh, an issue with direct path IO wait time 
and then scrolling down even further we have uh, an issue with um, the index fetch, index fetch ratio uh, and, and what we can see there is a low value might mean there are a lot of table scans happening so this is valuable information perhaps for the DBA or to help you tune your Oracle database to make sure that you're getting the best out of it